We're Alveus lads. <laughs> Bye. Hey. Here's Maya. Zoyle is here to teach you about animals today. Give him a fun fact. A fun fact? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> All right, um, never mind. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> Is that bubble wrap? No, it's snake skin, dude. Well, Zoyle, um, one, knows nothing about animals, and two, is very scared of them. I'm not like scared, I just like, they're like, sometimes it can be a bit freaky. Like, I kind of look like a big marmoset. So like, I don't. look at the hair. <laughs> I don't do like, I'm scared they're gonna think like I'm one of them, and they're gonna like start like beefing with me, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. Oh. Why are you saying it like that? It's really mean. He just kind of looks a bit gross. Zoyle, that is so rude. Are you handing him to me? Actually, your hands are much better for holding him than mine. Oh! Do oil! Oh, I don't like it. Zoyle! I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't Stop. like it. Take it back. He's cold. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. All right, he's fine. I just thought he would be a bit warmer. He's so cold. Guys, Zoyle did this to himself. He said he doesn't like Georgie, so you guys can pick between the two of them right now. He's just kind of cold. I thought he was going to be like warm. Loser dies. He was just kind of like... Cold, so cold. <laughs> like it felt, felt like it's holding like a bag of, uh, I don't know. Like it was just like a water balloon, almost really like really cold. But like then he was like twitching. It made me feel kind of uncomfortable. Guys, we're wearing gloves right now because uh, Georgie's an amphibian, which means he has semi-permeable skin, um, so he absorbs things through his skin. And Zoyle's got poopy hands. He'll bury himself for up to ten months out of the year in the wild. Can we just sit there for ten months? Yeah. <laughs> It does nothing. <laughs> yeah. They only come out in the rainy season. It's an African bullfrog. When they're buried and they can soak things up through their skin, they can absorb oxygen through their skin. So when he's yeah. buried, he can breathe. But that's sick. when there's trash in the water, pollutants in the water, he will also absorb that through his skin. So it's a cool adaptation oh. that he needs, but then it also makes them really sensitive to pollutants. Zoyle is going to feed him. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I forgot to warn you before I opened it. What do you think he eats, Zoyle? What the fuck <laughs> is that? I saw what it said on the lid. No, it says Georgie on the lid. I thought that said guinea pig. <laughs> You're feeding you, him a guinea pig? Are you dyslexic? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that said guinea pig. <laughs> it says Georgie 19 grams. It looks like it says guinea pig. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Zoyle's gonna try this first to make sure that it's okay for Georgie. So we're gonna have you take a bite out of this mouse and then we'll give you like 10 minutes or something and if you throw up, then we won't give it to him. Good, what? no, good. That is disgusting. <laughs> no, that is so gross. It's got my whiskers still. Yeah, man, it's a mouse. How he do you wants take, it. How did you take off the skin but not the whiskers? Do you really wanna know the answer to that? Yeah, I do. Do you take a frozen mouse, you run it under hot water for a couple seconds, you move the skin around so it separates from the body and then you go, like a jacket. Hold this in front of Georgie so he can eat it, okay? Okay, <laughs> ah! ah! yeah, now open. Yeah, good job, Zoya. Oh yeah, he's, holy fuck. He just tore that bitch up. <laughs> Georgie's a sit and wait predator, which is exactly what it sounds like. It means he sits and he waits. He's, he camps. Yeah, he camps. He's a camper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. wings. Do I know what that means? Cause I'm a gamer. Yeah. So like, how long does it take him to like digest? Um, he gets one mouse a week. One a week? Yeah, but then he eats crickets every three days. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he he's just like chilling because he doesn't move much. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't really do anything. Amphibians go through metamorphosis. So Georgie was a tadpole as a baby. Um, reptiles are precocial at birth, which means that once they hatch out of the egg, they pregnant at birth are ready to go. Huh? They're pregnant at birth. They're pre <laughs> precocial. What's that mean? It means. When they hit the ground, they're running. Oh, hit the ground running. Like a, like Horses a, are precocial at birth, they hit the ground, they can get like up a, a horse. Cows are precocial at birth, they hit the ground, they get up, they go. That's Humans, cool. not precocial. They're parasocial. They're parasocial. How, how long does it take for a, a baby to walk? A human baby, do you know? Two years. Two, two years? years? So you're telling me a, this guy can just walk and it takes a baby to... Humans are stupid. Humans are, it's crazy. It's crazy. I truly believe if you put a, a fire in front of a human baby, they would go bleh, 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 and then die. That, like, they're dumb, bro. It's crazy. Humans yeah. are dumb. That's our first friend. That's George. Can I put him back? No. This is Patchy. That guy looks sick. I want to hold him. 
Patchy's a ball python. He's so cool. Wow, friends. Um, this is an African snake. He's called a ball python because when they get scared, they curl up into a ball. His name is Patchy because he only has one eye. I don't know if you can see that on camera right now. He's so right soft. Now. It's cool, right? Yeah. People think snakes are slimy. They're really smooth and like nice feeling. Uh, when they get scared, they curl up into a ball, which really sucks uh, for them in the wild because they're very, very easy to poach. Because people walk up to them in the wild and then they're like, oh, I'm scared. And then they curl up into a ball and then oh. people just pick them up and bag them up and ship them into the US uh, because they're very popular in the pet trade. No, Zoil does not have semi-permeable skin and Patchy's not going to bite Zoil. Um, one, because he's not threatened, but two, you don't have to worry. This is a constrictor. This is not a venomous snake. So if oh, you wanted to kill to choke something, him out. Mm -hmm, if you wanted to kill something, he would constrict it to eat it, but He's not gonna kill something that he knows he can't eat. Patchy can only eat things that are about as wide as the largest part of his body. I know you can see absolutely none of his body right now because Zoya oh. sucks at this, but it's like I'm that sorry, big. I'm sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> it's like that much. I can see him, that's all that yeah, matters. Yeah, that's all that matters. Wait, can you talk like David Attenborough? And here we have the bull python, Patchy. Yeah, he's natural habitat, a giant's hands. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> you might notice Patchy's been sticking out his tongue. It's because Zoil's very stinky. And Patchy's like, oh, it's that smell. Um, they smell oh. with their tongue. So they have a Jacobson's organ in the roof of their mouth. It's two holes at the roof of their mouth um, and their tongue is forked. So they stick their tongue out, collect particles, stick it up into the roof of their mouth. Oh yeah, Patch. oh shoot, Patchy's female. We just learned this. I'm sorry if I've been What does that mean? Me. Pardon? What does that mean? Patchy's female. Yeah, well, what's the difference? Between a male and a female? Yeah. Um, Patchy does not have a penis. No, but like, do they do anything different? Like, is their behavior Males different? Males and females? The temperament? Is it... No, the temperament's the same. Okay. okay. No, I'm, not... I'm just asking, like, is there anything different between the two other than the, the reproductive organ? <laughs> no, don't never mind. I'm they're a virgin. Not, they're a little... <laughs> Never mind, okay, all right, all right, we're moving on. What do you think their penis looks like? Uh. Is it, like, is, it like a, is it like a bird? I feel like it just kinda, this is like the snake. Mm -hmm. And then it like probably comes out of like a hole. Okay. Like that. That's the pee, pee. <laughs> uh, they actually have a hemi penis. Two heads. Two heads! That's kind of cool though. Kind of cool. Kinda why do they have cool. a hem? Why? They, uh, why do they have two heads? Uh, because it gives them a better chance than one would. Two heads is better than one. Yep. Damn. Literally. So they all kind of get together and they just kind of move orgies? over each other like this. And with a penis on both sides, they can kind of go in from either side. Like a snake orgy? Yes. So they like literally like clump together like there a There are snakes like a... that get together in breeding balls, yeah. Did you ever have the birds and the bees talk when you were younger? Yeah, I did. I, I wasn't like asking why the the snake was, or, or the difference between a male and a female was. I was asking like the difference between a male and a female snake and like the temperaments and the behaviors. Not like, you know, the difference in gender, which is obvious. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna give you a big reveal. I love these guys. Really? Skinks. Yeah. Yeah, these are sick. This is toaster strudel. The blue tongue skink. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Why do you know stuff about skinks? Because I love them. I love reptiles. I really like I really like snakes. Uh, I, I've held snakes before in the past. I really like skinks. I like looking at like uh, chameleons and stuff. I think they're really cool. I, re I really, 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 really like reptiles. Guys, yeah, he's sick. Wow. What else do you know about blue tongue skinks? Not much. Okay, well this is a blue tongue skink. His name is Toaster Strudel. Uh, it's That's an Australian snake. Yeah, I would call him Toast. It's a snake? It's an Australian skink. Okay. So, Toaster Strudel. Um, they're called a blue tongue skink because... Look at him. Duh, idiots. Um, they have a blue tongue and it's a form of dimatic display. It's to uh, scare off predators and tell people that he's poisonous. Is he? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like he just drank like a... An icy. It does look like that. <laughs> I can't believe I've never heard anyone say that about him. His favorite food is snails. Oh, he um, likes escargot. Yes, he's, he's very Oh, look how snails. long he is. Yeah. He's guy. a long boy. Big guy. 
he likes snails. You know who does not like snails? Gardeners, right? Australian gardeners don't like snails in their gardens because they eat their plants. So to get rid of the snails, they put pesticides on their plants, right? No. And then the pesticides kill the snails. And then Toast eats a snail and then he eats the pesticides and he dies. Um, so that's a process called biomagnification. We need to be very careful what we're putting on plants as pesticides. Same with rodenticides, rat poisons. You'll give a rat rat poison, then an owl will eat the rat, then the owl dies because he eats rat poison. Uh, it affects much more layers of wildlife than pest companies tell you. So it's just like a circle of... Sad. Destroy. A circle of sad, a circle of death. That's sad. Yeah. Why don't yeah. they just, instead of getting pesticides, why don't they just get some of these guys? That's what I'm, that's what <laughs> put, I'm saying. Put them in the back you know, put, get, Call a bunch of toast. <laughs> yeah. Go out in your garden if you're in Australia and say toast. And then they'll come out. He's an Australian lizard. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to get an isopod. And you guys have to act like it's huge, okay? Like act like it's like really, like you know what it is and it's going to like freak him out or something. Then he's going to look really stupid. I'm even going to get a baby. So it'll be even smaller. Chat. Are you ready? Zoya? Can I wear gloves? No. Ready? I my, I really don't want to. <laughs> if it's a bug, I don't want to hold it. Ready? Set. Oh. <laughs> Are you... Ah! Oh, there is something. What is that? It's a roly-poly. Yeah. There you go. Oh. I don't like that. Oh, can I feed it to Georgie? No! <laughs> Ah! That is Marty. Marty is a zebra isopod. There, you've only got one? Oh, no, you want more? How do you know his name's Marty? Don't drop him. How do you know this is Marty? Oh, I, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Zoya, it's... shut up! It's just a little tiny bug. I'm gonna be honest, I can't feel it. I didn't even bring that many, but here's some of Marty's family. How do you know this one's Marty? Because they're my isopods, dude. Okay, so what's that, what's that one's name? Which one? Point. That one. They just went under. Marty. That one's Marty? This one? Yeah. Marty. Okay. So they're all just Marty. Yeah. Okay, what? here, hold the log. What are they? No! Zoyle! No, I don't want to hold a log of bugs. I really Zoyle. don't. Can you take him off? What, are you scared of him or something? I just don't like them. Like, it's something about the small things. Like, I'm scared of them, like, crawl in my ear or something. Okay, well, they're not going to because they're really far away from your ear right now. And they have no desire to crawl into your ear because these are detritivores, everybody. Okay, so what do you feed them to? They like... <laughs> Go on, what do you feed them to? Do you mean what do we feed them? Well, no, what do you feed them to? They like eating sweet potato and apples and carrots and bananas and leaves. They like breaking down organic ma human matter. Human remains? Would they eat a... D yeah, they would, okay? Because that's their job. How do you feel? I don't like it. Can I please put it down? Please, 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 please. I don't like, no. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> There's nothing on your hands. Dude, I don't like them. That's, <laughs> that's freaky. So, these are zebra isopods. Zoyle said roly-poly. It is the Mediterranean, Mediterranean version of a roly-poly and they're detritivores. So they break down organic matter in soils and make it into- Soils? Soils, zoils that can produce plants. For us to grow things. They're very, very important. They're nature's cleanup crew. Okay, but it takes a lot of them to break down. So they're like soil. Romanian? What? They're Mediterranean, like Romanian. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the Mediterranean Sea. Romanian isn't Mediterranean. Yeah, it is. Come on. I'm European. I know this. <laughs> you got to try and tell me. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not in my hair. It's not, Zoil. Did they climb on me? No. Holding the Marty log was scary because because there was more of them. Like more of them equals more of them maybe getting lost in me. I have a lot of hair. Maybe they go in, think I'm a bush or something. And get lost, just get lost around me. I just didn't like the idea of it. Waking up in the middle of the night and having Marty inside of me, you know? Stop it, what? stop it. What? No, because you know now that what ticks me and now you've got like the bugs. That's not true. I can hear it. What do you hear? <laughs> you don't. It's not so Yes, I do. Chat. Look, I'm holding up to the mic. You're in luck. Uh, I am not bringing out any of my stinging bugs because you are too scared and you're going to get stung because you're going to scare them. So, okay. I'm bringing you all my nice ones. No, that's not nice bug. Barbara!
No, I'm not touching that. I'm, it's not happening. It's not. I'm not touching that thing. She's here. What's a stinging bug? I have scorpions. I'll hold a scorpion. No, I'm not bringing him out. No, why are you saying that like you would do that? That is so crazy. I would hold a scorpion. I just don't want to hold that thing. That That's doesn't disgusting. make any sense, bro. I'm not holding that. This is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Her name is Barbara. One of the largest roaches in the world. Very. Why do you very like cool. that? Um, because they're very freaking important. Zoil. To what? Zoil thinks that Barbara's gross. You want to know why? Because Zoil associates cockroaches with dirty places. Why are cockroaches in dirty places? I don't know. Why are firefighters at the scene of fires? Oh, okay. Is okay. it because they set the fires while okay. they arsonists okay. too? Okay. No, okay. they clean up. They clean up dirty places. So if Zoyle doesn't like cockroaches, it's because he's leaving his freaking food out and being a gross I've never seen degenerate. A I never saw a cockroach before I came and to this country. And the cockroaches are coming in and they're like, oh, this gross human, let me, let me no, pick no, up no, after no. him. The only let time me fix no. it. And then Zoyle's like, meh. I've only it. seen cockroaches in Fallout 4. You owe her an apology. It looks so ugly. It looks like. Y'all, look at, look at her face. Zoyle just made her really, it just really hurt her feelings. Those are her eyes on the top of her head. She looks visibly sad because Zoyle's yelling, saying she's ugly. There she ah! goes. Ah! I don't like it, I don't like it, please take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Ah! Zoyle, that no, was insane. I don't like, it was crawling on my arm. It was literally crawling on my arm. You saw it, you saw it. Guys. You saw it. Barbara was just trying to make a friend and she went on Zoil to be friends with him and he screamed and now she's so sad she's not even looking up. She's literally putting her head down, crying because she was like, oh, I thought he wanted to be my friend. See, I'll even block your, your arm so that she doesn't go up there. There you go. Okay, now that she's in your hand and you guys are being friends, apologize. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please take it, it's crawling under, it's crawling under. Oh. I don't like that at all. I actually hate that, I despise that, that is not fun. Look what you said about her and now look at her. No, it's Absolutely fine, it's cute. Absolutely defeated. Absolutely defeated. Dude, this is She's a fucking actress, house. my god. Is that other ones in there? Okay, ma'am. I really did not like holding Barbara when, uh, she was just kind of creepy. I just don't really like bugs that much. So just, they're kind of a bit, a bit creepy to me. Do I care that I hurt Barbara's feelings? I'm sorry, Barbara. We're gonna go outside, okay? Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's blue. Yeah, kind of. What condition? What? Guys, this is Oliver. Oliver's a chicken. If you guys are in the US and you're looking to buy eggs, we can put the certified humane label on screen. That is the label that you should look for on your eggs. It means they're actually pasture raised. Everything else, all the cage free, free range stuff is bullshit. Oh really? Yeah. It's Dang. Really, it's really gross, it's really sad. It's really hot in here. It is really hot in there. Oh, is this the... The African parrot? Yes, we do have an African parrot. It's a gray one, right? Yeah. You got like in rust, how you have a, a, an airlock so that people can't uh, just the uh, inside raid you. Yeah. This is your African gray that you're talking about. Yeah, this guy's cool. He's African kind of aggressive, gray right? African gray parrot? Um, can be, they can bite really hard. Um, her name is Mia. Mia. Would you like to give her a pistachio? Oh, that's nice. Wow, friends. So Mia is an African gray. This is an endangered species of parrot. Um, one of the reasons is because the pet trade, uh, because they're captured out of the wild because people think they want them as pets. But then they realize that birds are really destructive and really loud and they can chew through wood as Mia has done here. Damn. We oh, have to give a them- cool little red decal. Red tail, yeah. yeah. We have to give them toys like this every day because they're super destructive. They just like destroying things. Uh, and parrots can also be really loud, maybe better demonstrated by Siren. Son, kissing happy birthday? Happy birthday. That she did it. Is that, is that what she just said? Yeah. I wasn't singing. Siren, say happy birthday. <laughs> birthday. Oh, that's cool. Siren. <laughs> I was birthday. expecting the whole. Birthday. Birthday. There you go, that's pretty good. Yeah, we also have the macaws. Macaws, uh, even more difficult to have as a pet, super destructive, can bite very, very hard. That is a wood block that she's chewing through, by the way. You can see how easily she- That's a block of wood? wood? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Can I feed them? No. 
Okay. <laughs> Mia makes a lot of really good sound effects. She can do like a microwave and a truck backing up and. How? I, she just to makes the noise. Around? Yeah. Oh, because oh, he's his. Um... Yeah. Yeah, they're really good at mimicking speech. Why do and they do sounds. that? Um, I think it's just a way that they try. <laughs> I think it's just a way that they try to communicate with humans, um, because they get a reaction when they make a cool noise. That was I'm Mia. kind of nervous that these guys are gonna like attack me. Yeah, that's fair. All right, I have a big surprise for you. We're going to the pasture. Hi. Hi, Mia. That's where my dog went when I was like seven. Bruh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay, this one's gotta go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Please, stop! It's not coming in here. Huh? You can't let this one in here. No, she can't come in. No. I don't like the bird. <laughs> come on, Zoil. This is Stompy. Stompy's an emu. Fucking emu. <laughs> this is what Australia lost to, by the way. That is true. Australia lost a war to this. This is a common emu. It looks like a dinosaur. Yeah, he does. Birds are dinosaurs. Um, all of our modern day birds, over 10,000 species of birds we have today, are de de derived from theropods. Theropods were two-legged, three-toed dinosaurs. Check it out, guys. Two legs. It's a raptor. Three toes. Velociraptors had feathers. Probably look like emus. Check this out. Oh, God. Little wings. Claws. You can fly? For shredding. Wait, where? They have a little claw at the end of their wing. Oh, dang. That's kind of cool. What are the claws for? Nothing. They're just there still. I'm going to teach you how to give them a hug. No. <laughs> Stompy really likes hugs. Here you go. You got to loosen up first. And then and then you come in. And then you go, Hi, little chicken. Oh, he's so nice. What a nice little bird. He's so nice. My, I don't think he's gonna be able to get his head over my shoulder. Do I have to make that noise? Yes. <laughs> he likes it. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I don't like. I did not like that at all. I did not like that at all. <laughs> Stompy was kind of creepy at first. Uh, the way that she was like looking at me kind of kind of irked me out a little bit, kind of freaked me out. Uh, but in the end, I think we got along, you know, I don't think the hug was the best, but I think we became friends by the end of it. So I think, I think we're on good terms with uh, Stompy. So there's Serrano. You can hold your hand out to show him you have a treat. I don't think Serrano's ever seen someone so tall. Nope. All right. <laughs> Oh no, they're all ganging up. They're, why are they all coming out? Here, Kayla's gonna show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, he's feeding him. Yay, good job, Zoil. We're gonna go see the the marmosets here, guys. Yes. This is the first time monkey, monkey, that monkey. the marmosets have been a part of a collab. Oh no. I just don't really like this guy. Nobody does. It's okay. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh! <laughs> he just tore my pants open. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Oh my, no! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah! He Gosh. cut me. <laughs> he actually just cut me. I'm actually bleeding. Wait, let me see. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. The goats are not my favorite animal in the sanctuary. They, I've got this gun to defend myself right now in case they pull up. Like, I see oatmeal back there, and I'm kind of scared <laughs> she's gonna do something again. I've already got, I've already sustained injury from her. So you won't touch them. Um, we're just gonna hang out around them for right now and see how they. Uh... I'm the first one in here. Yeah. See how they do. So that's Momo. Momo is a black tufted marmoset. Appa is behind you. Oh. Um, he's on the cameraman's shoulder right now, so you can't see him. But Appa is- What if he is... jumps on me? Is it fine? Yeah, it's fine if he chooses to do that. Um, these two were rescued from a neglect case in Austin, so someone bought them as a pet because they wanted pet monkeys and then took really bad care of them. Um, oh, there's Appa. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking. Um, so they came to us with metabolic bone disease, um, with dental disease, Appa had really poor mobility in his back legs. There oh. he is. 
He's got tiny little eyes. He's yeah. so cute. He's pretty cute. He's a cute so they're native guy. to Brazil, you said? Yeah. You say hi to chat. Oh. Chat, say hi. Oh. Same hair. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this Dude. is fine. You guys are friends. Um, actually, you can put him on this top one if you want. Just kind of like roll him off. Here you go, Appa. That's nice. Oh. Good boy. Very cool. He's cool. Wow. Good start. Um, I want to leave it at that. That was a really great interaction, first interaction for them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that was sick. I thought, honestly, I thought they'd be afraid of you. Do you have any uh, parting words for Maya or others? Hey, those goats got to go on a leash or something, or uh, there has to be like more of these accessible around in case they pull up because they're dangerous creatures. You need to get a leash on these, these goats, and to be honest, maybe no more bugs.